Okay, been playing a little bit more with the Shape Oko. I haven't had a whole lot of time. Um, yeah, took some uh, two by four. Well, it was uh, two by sixes actually, and uh, played around trying to get some alignment. I still haven't worked out the limit switches. I pick, or, uh, purchased a limit switch kit. It's on its way. Had a bit of a a drop in the router there and uh, had the piece move on me so it kind of ate a good chunk out of it there but uh, they came out kind of neat uh, I mean considering I flipped them and was off by a fair bit <laughs> but uh, doing a double sided thing that was, was kind of a neat little test to do and they do kind of fit together if I can uh, yeah there we go so they, they do go together, they do work, kind of neat, I'll have to maybe try that with a little bit harder wood because uh, these do break up and yeah, chips and that kind of stuff, but really I mean kind of neat. And one thing I've been meaning to do for a long time is uh, the uh, Meanie's, uh, Meanie my cat. Had a, has a cat tree out here and it came with a little wooden plate that was always up above the, the door to his house and his cat tree. So I've always been meaning to put his name on it and finally got around to it and filled it with some of the clear epoxy and it came out pretty good. If you get it on the right angle you can kind of see that, especially in the M there, um, I think what I would do next time is just sand down the letters a little bit so they're uh, uh, just a little bit lower than the, the level that the uh, epoxy would flush out at. But uh, it came out pretty nice, good enough for his cat tree anyway. And uh, But if you were going to do this on a table or something where somebody was going to be able to feel this, um, definitely make these just a little bit lower so that it does self-level over top of it. You won't feel it. You won't have to go back and buff it. It came out really nice. So, 